Right, hello, welcome back to the channel once again. Um, today we've got a friend of mine's child's Nintendo Switch and apparently it does not read cartridges. So let's pop that out there, let's um, turn it on and yep, that fires up and we don't have a game in here but let's have a little try and hold that out of the way and not that we can see in there but from what I can see outside it doesn't look too bad but let's uh, let's try a game card no so that one doesn't work and that one doesn't work so I suppose I should probably get another switch to um, test and see if we actually have games that do work. Um, I've got various switch lights just laying around on the floor. I'm going to take one of these and plug in a power cable. See if any of them come on. That one doesn't have any charge in it. That one doesn't have any charge in it. And I presume this one isn't gonna have any charge in it either. Marvellous. None of them actually have any charge. So, I'll chuck those to the one side, let them charge up, and I'll be back. Right, this one, appears to have some power in it um i think this is my launch day switch let's have a look at the settings um yep as you can see there it's um system version 3.00 so this is old as the hills and obviously i don't want to update it so i'm just going to pop the cartridge in and see if it reads it yeah, but it knows that game card's in there, and yep, it wants to update, so sod right off. I don't want that updated, I want that kept as original as possible, just for the sheer hell of it. So, I'm going to get the Joy-Cons off of here and shut it down properly power off and um, that screen has seen better days but let's get this apart oh hello someone's bought a a proper nintendo 256 gig memory card oh aren't they cute I like that. Okay, so I'm going to get the screws out of the back of this and we'll have a look. Right, the screws along the bottom, the three on the side, etc., are all out. So this should come off. off no breakages we do have some screws on the inside here let's get those off as well
and one in the middle. Hmm, there's a fair bit of dust in there. Now, this is where it's going to be fun. Unclip that. Yep. Pop the cable out. Unscrew this. What I'm hoping is I can get this out without removing the pipe, but I can't. Great. Gonna have to remove the heat pipe as well. So this bit here needs to get undone as well. I would replace the thermal paste, but I haven't got any. So unfortunately, it's going to stay there. And by paste, I do mean thermal meh at this point in its life. If you are going in here on one of these, you probably should clean all of that out. But unfortunately, I don't have any to replace it with. So, as I say, that's not the job for today. Now... Yeah. That fluff can sod off and we'll pop that off. Looks okay, really. Like none of them look to be bent out of shape. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Anyway, I'll be back. As I do happen to have a replacement. that cable into there yep and get this pushed back onto that and I mean what I could do now really is test it <laughs> um, but of course we're not going to do that are we no These do not go in place as easy as I had hoped. There you go. Right, shall we try it first? Um, I probably should put this back on. And if it all goes well, then, yeah, brilliant. I shall reassemble it and you won't have to watch the rest of the video because it will be done. But I am going to assemble the rest should it actually work
Right, first things first, let's hope it still turns on. Yep, good. Cartridge in. Hey! Cancel. So, let's take that out. Let's try Star Wars. Yes. So, the cartridge works. Yeah, cancel that. Let's chuck that back in its case. Turn this off. <coughs> and, um, yeah, put it back together. Because we have fixed it. It was just um, a faulty cartridge slot. Um, if you've seen me do the ones for... 3DSs and DSs, they are so much more complicated because you have to remove them from the actual PCB. This thing, piece of cake. All you do is unscrew it, disconnect one and plug another one in. Like it literally just plugs in. It's so much easier. I do love some modular design. That's back on. Just make sure these carts fit. Yeah, lovely. Loving this. Today, Matthew, I am loving life. So, you can go on here. the older uh, memory card holder got to this is the only bit I struggle with getting these back on but apparently it's gone straight on first time <laughs> okay I'll shut up I'll whinge about something and it works first time brilliant Although, of course, the proof will be in the pudding when we attempt to see if said um, micro SD card is still red. So, if you need to uh, replace the cartridge port on your Nintendo Switch. This is pretty much how easy it is. It's what, 15 minute job? Um, I may as well put the back on, on, on camera whilst we're here. The rear of the shell in the four corners are Tri-wing screws. Then we've got some Phillips on the side. I 
probably only needed to remove one of these to get the back panel off. Unfortunately, I took three out either side. And then once we've got this together and tested, I'll give my mate a call and he can send someone to collect it. go right there's the one for the top there are two on the bottom There is one more just down here. So let's get that in. Because that camera focuses really well, my fat fingers are in the way. Right, let's uh, reattach the Joy-Con. So some power. Go and check the storage and settings, I think, just to make sure we are reading the memory card. As you can see, it's reading the memory card and the system memory, so we're all good there. Back, let's have some there you. Bowser's fear. An update is required. Oh, I can't even play it because it hasn't had the update applied at all. So that has scuppered any chance of playing Bowser's Fury on here, but it's a very nice quick video in relation to most of my ones. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.